there, everybody. How are you all doing today? Hope you're ready to rock and roll. Because, man, we got some Zach Wild riffs here for you that I think you should steal. <laughs> Zach has a plethora of licks uh, throughout his career, and I just picked five of my favorites. Um, these are, are kind of like earlier Aussie things. Um, maybe there'll be a part two with more of his like modern licks in it. If you'd like the tabs, that link is down below. All you got to do is go hit up my mailing list, and you get the tabs. Boom, no more hunting for them. Told you, we've got it hooked up now. So make sure you go grab those tabs down below. Uh, for tones, real quick, I am just running from the Acacia, loaded with Fishman's, into uh, the new Rev pedal. I actually don't even know if I'm allowed to <laughs> use this pedal yet, uh, but I took it out and it sounded so good. <laughs> So let's just go ahead and quit the chit chat and get, get to these licks. <laughs> these so look number one we have from uh, Miracle Man one of my favorite Ozzy songs uh, the Zach era is just some of my favorite stuff uh, and basically we have these little you know, arpeggios essentially what they are <laughs> uh, into that big pentatonic run Zach being all Zach and uh, it starts out right here so essentially what this is is, uh, at least I believe, it's a B sus 2. What I'm viewing it as. So I'm gonna go to 12th fret on the B, 9th fret on the high string, and then 14 on the height. And what we're doing is our picking is down, down, up. Now there's one thing I see a lot of people miss on this particular lick, and I, I'm by no means a stickler on, you know, playing everything note for note, but I feel like in this one, there's a little part that sometimes gets overlooked. And the lick goes like this, I'll play it slow one. <laughs> And that's where it ends. And I notice a lot of people pause. And if you listen, you can actually hear him hit that 12 again. So it goes 12, 9, 14, four times in a row. On the fifth time, it goes 12, uh, 9, 14. Then you go back to 12. So our picking is down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up. And on that last one, it's down, down, up, up. That way, because you want to start it over again. Uh, but you're starting over on a new arpeggio, basically. Then we shift up here. Same exact technique out of our right hand. That stays exactly the same. Uh, but now we are going to be going 14 on the B, 12 on the high E, and then 16. So that is a, what is that, a C sharp minor? Okay, then you shift up to a D major. And this one is just 15 on the B, and then 14, 17 on the high. Into your F sharp minor pentatonic kind of uh, speed run. And all that is is a repeating sequence. You're gonna go 17 to 14, or sorry, 19 to 14 on the high string, and then 17 to 14 on the B, and then 17 to 14 on the high string, and then 17 to 14 on the B. And you repeat that. And you just, <laughs> and then, well, then you start messing up like me. But you just kind of cycle through that. I like that whole section of the, of the song. It's very like, just getting you ready for that main meat and potato part of the solo. All right, so look number two, we are going to another one of my favorite Ozzy, well, they're also my favorite Ozzy song, I don't know why I need to keep saying it, but uh, Crazy Baby. And in there he has a pentatonic like I stole, you know, so many years ago now, but I love it because it's, again, very aggressive, you know, very straightforward, typical Zach Wild lick. Uh, he goes like this. Uh, make sure my volume's up. 
and repeats it. And I, I always thought that was cool because it's you know straight pentatonic. And he might pick everything. I'm not real sure. I don't. I I do a pull off and some uh, strategic parts. So basically, it's just out of this B minor. <laughs> Uh, kind of pentatonic shape here. We're gonna go 10, and I go pull off the seven on high string. Now I go back to the B, which is 10, seven, which I pick that. And then I go to the G, which is nine, seven, and I pick that. So I'm only not picking one note, but for some reason that snap of that pull off in there, I really I like that. It kind of breaks up the lick a little bit. And you can of course move this to all the different areas of the pentatonic scale. Oh, and key of B. Got my keyword in for a second. Well, all right, you are making your way through these licks. So next we have one from, I believe it's from, I don't want to change the world. I don't want to change. Yeah, it's from that one. And basically it's this really cool ascending pentatonic. You know, these are all, of course, if, if you're a fan of Zach Wilde, you know, he's very rooted in pentatonic scale. Uh, slow, it looks like this. And what exactly is happening is we're walking through our A minor pentatonic scale. So we're starting in by kind of combining box four and five. So uh, the way I'm doing it, again, I'm adding some pull-offs in mind. He might pick everything. Uh, either way, I think sounds sounds totally fine. Um, so I go 17 to 50 on the high string, and I do a pull-off to 12. Okay, so we have that, and I go back to 15. And then I go to 12.15 on high string, which is all picked. So I have that one pull-off note. And, and I would just get good at cycling that, and that's gonna help you figure out how to kind of like work your way through the... Now the next part is combining box five and one. You're gonna go 20, 17, 15 on high string. Same pull-off in the same spot. And then you're gonna go to the B string, uh, which is gonna be 17 on the B and then 15, 17 on the high string. So. Okay, shifting up again. Now we're combining box two and box one of our A minor pentatonic all the way up here, my fingers barely fit. And this is just gonna go 22, 20, 17, and then 20 on the B, and then 17, 20 on the high string. Remember, I'm still doing that pull off. And then I'm bending uh, 22 on high. It's kind of how Zach ends it. Uh, can't exactly remember how many times he repeats each one, but uh, you know, just get one of those down and that'll be a good starting point. All right, so next is actually a lick I've never known until I decided to do this video. Uh, and I was like, you know what? I need to learn that lick because I've always wanted to know what he did there. It's from Devil's Daughter. It's this really cool kind of like chicken picking. <laughs> But it's like a neoclassical chicken picking. <laughs> um, and then he goes, good old Zach doing his Zach thing. Um, so basically what it is, the first section, it's all hybrid picks. So I'm using my middle finger to pluck, basically anywhere there would normally be an upstroke from your picking hand, well, I'm now plucking that with my middle finger. So that'd be like, that'd be all picked, I'm going. So my pick is always picking down and my middle finger is always plucking the string where an up would be. So I go eight on the B to seven on the high string. Now that seven on the high string is our pedal note. That note stays the same and we move the notes around it. So we go eight, seven, then seven on the B to seven on the high string, nine on the G, back to seven, and then seven, seven. So. So there's that lick, and he's adding a lot of palm muting, and he has a lot of distortion on. Um, okay, so with those, now the next part is this. So he shifts up a little bit, and you're gonna be. Oh, I always forget that one note in there. It's basically uh, 10 on the high string is now our pedal note. He goes 10 on the B to 10 on the high, 8 on the B to 10, 7 to 10, then back to 8. Now this time it changes. It goes 10, 8, 7, 9. 
nine is on the G, not on the B this time. So we have. Okay, now the next section is uh, kind of a tricky one. It, you know, fingerings might vary for yourself, but I went with my pinky holding down seven on the high string, which is now our pedal note. So it goes six on the B to seven on the high, five on the B to seven on the high, then seven on the G to seven, and five to seven. So. Uh, he's at two on the high, or sorry, two on the B and four on the G. Then he goes to five and seven, and eight and ten, I believe. Now the next part, he starts out everything the exact same way, so I'm not gonna break that part down. It starts out just like this. The second one is also the same. Now this one changes. He goes like this. And then this one is 12 on the B and 12 on the high string. That's now our pedal. To 10 on the B, 12 on the G, back to 10 on the B. So. More unison band. Got these really cool rock moments. Just Zach being Zach. That is all I can say about that. And yeah, one of my all time favorite Zach licks, so hopefully you enjoy that one. All right, and the final one here uh, comes from The Road to Nowhere, another one of those killer Oz. I mean, No More Tears, what, what an album. Uh, but it, basically, he's all the way up here, and I'm starting with this bend. Because he has this really big uh, over bend on, I think he's like, might be on 20 on the G, but I do it on 17 on the B. And he has a little, really cool, like, um, little, like st is it staccato? I always use the wrong word. But um, this real, like, pop, 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 like, poppy section. Then you play the wrong note like me, but, but we'll fix it. Um, so he starts off with, this, like I said, this big two and a half step bend on 17 on the B. Now, this, this section here goes like this. It's going to go 21 to 20 to 18. Same thing on the G. I'm oh, sorry, that was on the B. Same thing on the G. Now on the D, you're going to go 19 to 18. Sorry, 19 to 17, actually. No, you're going to go 20 to 18. Oh my god. There we go. Now here, you're going to go 20, 19, 18, 16. Okay, so. Okay, you got that? And here's a, a, you know, another very signature Zach Wild tune up for string pentatonic idea that he does. And we're just going like this now. And what that is, I'm just uh, on 11 to 8 on the D to the A. Then I go 13 to 11 on the D to A. That's straight up octave of it. And I'm going to go, uh, what is this, 15, 13 on the G and the D. Then I go to 18, 15 on the G and the D. Big old bend on 18. Now, you can add this little ending part here. This won't be tabbed out, but I just played it anyways because it just kind of all flows together. Uh, I just go. Basically, just doing like his little country kind of double stop. Moves up two frets to 16 and 17. So. But the overall gist of the lick is the other part. There you have it, man. Zach Wild, dude, lots of pinch harmonic. Alrighty guys, that is it. Like I said before, make sure you get the tabs. That link is down below. I will send those over to you right away. Hope you enjoyed the video. Um, if you'd like me to do maybe another pl player, like five leaks you should steal from this player, let me know. Um, I was thinking about doing a dime bag one, maybe Eddie Van Halen, stuff like that. Let me know if you dig it. But other than that, like I said, grab the tabs and let's just get out of here and get practicing them licks. Bye guys.